Well, I didn't expect this to happen. As you can see, we're still in charge of Borussia FC. We've played about six games in the league, one in the cup. But there's just one thing wrong about this save. And it's this. If we go to staff, we go to all. Massimo Cellino is the man that controls this club. So therefore, I have made the decision to resign from this football club. Reason being is I don't like Massimo Cellino. He's got connections with Leeds United. He was a bit of a fruitcake, a bit of a fruit loop. He was a bit of an idiot, basically. And I just don't like him. I never liked him when I was at Leeds. And I definitely don't like him now. So, I'm a bit disappointed that we've started to build the squad. We've brought in some players. We've started to do, we did all right in the league and stuff. We are saying all right in the league. We are seventh, three wins, one draw and two losses. We'll quickly just show you the schedule. You guys saw the first game of the season, uh, which was the 5-2 win against Bari. And then we won again, 3-1 against Venezuela. Venezuela, <laughs> Veniza, I think. Then we played Pisa, we won 3-2. We drew to Calgary 0-0, which was a very good result. And then the losses started to come. We lost to these two teams here, 1-0 and 2-0. We've not scored in three games, as you see. I was due to come back to YouTube on this bit here, playing Komodo, and we'll play this team. But I'm having to resign because I cannot stand Massimo Cellino. If you take a look at my profile, though, there is a slight issue and we might not get the best job. So we're going to make this into a literally a, a kind of a, a little bit like a journeyman in a way because we've only got a Continental C license and we're only a professional football at local level. So we're not really going to get massive job offers, unfortunately. Um, my contract, resign. Do you wish to resign as manager? Yes. It's done. It's dusted. You probably gathered from the thumbnail and the title that we're already job hunting already. Um, in terms of jobs that are available at the moment, there's there's only there's, there's one, and I don't really fancy going to this team. However, I do like their kits. I like the the away kit and the third kit. I'm not a massive fan of this kit, but the twentieth in in League Two or League Un, no, that's League One, isn't it? League Two. The bottom of the league, they've only won one game out of ten. I just don't see me wanting to join that team there. So we're going to advance a bit and I'll be back with you when we get some job offers. If we get some job offers. The day is now 20.35 and we still not had a job offer. <laughs> I'll see you guys when we have a job offer. So then we have been busy applying for jobs. You can see Stevenage have come in for us for a job interview who are currently in... 21st in the Sky Bet League 2, down in 21st position, only winning two games from the opening 13 games, drawing six of them and losing five. That says to me that they're underachieving, but if you look at the season preview, they are predicted to finish in 16th place. But we have replied for a few jobs. If, I, if you look at this, we apply for Plymouth, was unsuccessful. Huddersfield job we apply for, Burton we apply for, Lincoln and Stevenage. It could see a shock one there. Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag has been sacked after about nine games in or 13 games in charge as well. Premier League is normally behind Football League, but they're down in, well, they was down in 13th place when they sacked him. They're now 11th in the league. Uh, I'm not applying for that job. Darby's available as well. Paderborn, one for Curtis. He did a FIFA 20, 20 series with them, maybe more. And they had that player, didn't they? I can't remember his name. Gillingham's available. Swindon and Walsall's also available. I've not applied for uh, Swindon or Walsall. I have applied, for, as you probably see me in box, I did apply for the Gillingham job. Let's go into this interview. Let's attend it. And our chairperson now is a guy called Phil Wallace. The board are pleased that you have taken your time to attend today. Thank you very much. Much appreciated for having me, Phil. Um, you have very little managerial experience. And that obviously concerns me a little bit. Can you explain this? Well, Phil, the thing is, right, I thought I had something good going on with my Italian club that I was managing for six games, but I didn't like the owner. I couldn't stand him. You're going to be a better owner, aren't you? So I'm pretty sure I'm new to management, so I like the experience, but make up for it in other ways. Are you in, why are you interested in dropping down to a club for our stature? It won't make sense to a lot of players. I'm looking for a new challenge. We are. We're looking for a new challenge, boys. We're looking for a new challenge. I've got my Twitch chat on here. We are live on Twitch as well, boys. 
link for that will be in the description as always. Come check it out, click on the link, give us a follow, and when you have time you see me live, you won't just see the highlights, you'll see every single game. If you're around, come watch us. Cheers. Now we've got all that out of the way, Phil has asked us, you have struggled to command support of your players in your most recent job. What can you what can you say to address your concerns about what's happening here? The thing is, I was only in charge of six players, uh, six players, six games. So what do you expect me to do in six games? The form's bad as well. That's something I've learned from. Right, we'll just say that. Can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a just like I'm just I'm just exploring my options, Phil. You know, like anyone does when they're out of jobs. Uh, are you willing to assure us that you do a better job? Of, of course, man, I back myself to succeed. I don't want to repeat of our last manager, who we had to part company with earlier than expected. Are you going to be around for a while? I'm here for the long haul, mate. We need a manager who can work with limited resources. Uh, I know I'm able to look after the club's finances if you're in the job, which I do take care of in my finances and everything like that, so that's something that I need to... Something that I'm very good at, I must admit. I'm happy to work with a sports director. So then, what they're expecting us to do? Uh, develop players using the club's youth system. I think that's every club nowadays. Work within a wage budget. And then the five-year plan is to finish mid So in five years' time, they still want to be in League 2. In five years' time, I want to be in League 1 or in Championship, if not pushing for the Championship. Let's do that. If hired... We would expect you to finish clear of the relegation battle with us unable to consider keeping you in a role should we be relegated. Oh, he's, he's laying him out there, and if we get relegated, we get sacked and we're looking for another job. Um, if given the job, I have the ability and greatly surpass this. No, we won't, we, won't, we, won't, we won't exceed expectations. We'll just agree with him. Why would you transfer a budget of 15.91k? My eyesight's terrible. That's 15.19k. Be sufficient for the job. Um, yeah, I just agree with that. Wage budget of 33 grand. Yeah, no good. I am thanks. That is our meeting, and I'll be back with you guys if we get off of the job or if we get another interview. So, as you can see, we've been successful with the Steve and his job. All the other clubs that we went in to apply for basically said no in, a, in, in the nicest possible way. They, they, a lot of the clubs that we applied for hired ex-managers that have been at the clubs before and sacked. But this is what Stevenage want us to do. So the yeah, the five-year plan, I don't agree with. Finish mid-table in the sky, but no, no, no. We are pushing way past that. Attempt to remain in League League One. Yeah, League League One. Eh. So end of 23-24 season, attempt to remain in the sky bet League One. That's next season. 22-23. 23-24. The end of next season. Attempt to remain in the Skybet League 1. We're not in League 1, boys. We're in the we're in Skybet League. Is that a bug? Is that... I'm reading that right, aren't I? So, five-year plan. End of current season to finish my table in League 2, which we can do that. Be competitive in the Papa John's Trophy, we can do that. That's for this season, right? But next season, attempt to remain in Skybet League One. And then the season after, remain in League One, League One, League One. I don't understand. Anyway, we're going to take it. We are going to be on a lovely whopping £850 a week. Excellent. Let's finalise that deal. We've signed a two-year deal. Stephen Edge have approached us. Brilliant. So then, as you can see, we're in the Stevenage office for the first time ever. We've been shown round the club's facilities. And there's one key thing I notice. We're sponsored by Prime Gaming. So if you are on Twitch and you've got Prime, you guys know what to do. Come drop your Prime sub to me. Sorry, I had to plug it, didn't I? I had to plug it. So we wasn't out of work for, very, for, for long at all. They are taking a risk with us being manager, by the way, but we are in League 2. And I'm happy. Eyebrows have been raised. Of course they have. We are 34. Currently I'm 35, but we'll go with 34. Um, my first game will be in charge against Gillingham, which is a relegation battle early doors that we are going to win. Yes, we are. Mark Yates was also considered for the job after he was spotted attending an interview with the club. 
and they ultimately preferred a different candidate in me. Stevenage are currently lying 22nd in the Sky Bell League 2. Stevenage have lost three of the, of their last five games in the league. That is something that we definitely need to fix. We definitely need to fix. This is it. It was founded in 1976. The director is Kendera Ross, Rossimus, I think that is. Uh, assistant manager is vacant, so we need to get assistant manager in. £33 a week. £33 a week, come on, Stu. £33,000 a week. Uh, current round of the FA Cup were first when got knocked out in the southern section. Right. And we got knocked out in the first round. So the FA Cup were in the first round, which is good, which will bring us finances in. Median now predicted to finish 21st. At the start of the season, there was predicted to finish 16th. I think that's right. So this is the players. The, the, this is our best sort of players. I don't think... I, this Sweeney, I recognise him. Why do I feel like I, I know him? Clark, Chapman as well, I recognise him. Gilbert, Alex Gilbert, what a, he looks actually, he looks really good as a winger. So that's the formation that I tend to play. Our top goal scorer is Danny Rhodes, who is currently 28. Roberts is technically our best striker in 28 as well. Right, okay, let's go to next. Um, so now it's changed. Look, league, league, attempt to remain in League One. It's, it's Something's wrong there. That's That's bugged out. So it, they want us end of this season to be competitive in the Papa John's Trophy. However, we're already knocked out of it, so the board can scrap that. Right, this is our supporters then. Strive to make progress on and off the pitch. That is something we're definitely going to do. Become competitive against Link uh, Lincoln, Luton if we play against them. Get the better of our rivals working if we if we happen to play them and remain in Skybet League Two. I I think that's. Uh, I think the board are going to be happy with that every month. No, every month, thank you. Confirm. It was already set to every month. So here we go. Stevenage hired me as manager. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Playing time and expectations. Um, we'll sort all this out off of, off of camera, off of YouTube, on Twitch. You'll see all this being done um, and everything else. Literally, it'd be like you're playing the save, but watching me play the save through YouTube here. We're just going to be cutting the clips out and stuff. So how long have we got? We've got three days till our first game. I'll be back with you when we are about to play Gilling and we'll talk about tactics and players and stuff like that. Um, the transfer window is shut as well, which is a bit a bit annoying. But, yeah, we'll see how we do. We'll be back with you with our first game in charge of Stevenage. First game of the season is away at Gillingham, as previously stated in uh, the welcome thing that we get. We played Gillingham. 24th versus 22nd in the league. Gillingham sat at the bottom of the table. We are in 22nd. Only a point separates us, Harrogate and Gillingham. So if we do lose, then we go into the relegation zone. If we pick anything up from the game, we'll stay out of it. If it's a draw or a win, a win could move us up to 20th place in late Orient. But the main objective is, is to get clear of that relegation zone in there. Because if we don't, we're going to be in trouble. The board did say if we did get relegated, we would be sacked. And we don't want to be doing that. We want to try and build a team around Stevenage. So tactics-wise tactics, tactics wise then, let me just quick pick this because this is what we're going to be going with for the first game of the season. I have hired a new assistant manager as well called Asa Hall. Um, this is the formation we're going to play. It's wing, it's wing play style because we have some very good wingers on loan, Alex Gibney and also Elliot List who is also a decent winger. You can both see there are three and a half stars there. I think that's a decent role. Um, a decent star rating for, well, rollability is perfect. Roberts is going to go up top. Gilby is going to be our Mazala. We've got ball, uh, a box-to-box -box midfielder in Taylor. We've got Campbell, who's on a defensive midfielder and on defend. Two wing-backs early at left. James uh, Wildeen at right. Sweeney and Pelagant. It's, it's a name with an eye on the end I can't pronounce. We're going to call him Perry. And Chapman in goals defend. So that is basically our lineup. In terms of possession, we're going to short passing, passing to space. Actually, we're going to take off passing to space. I don't want to pass into, into space. Um, attacking width is wide. We're going to move mixed crosses. A, a passing direction and shortness. Tempo is slightly higher, which we'll probably change that to a higher tempo and tweak it and stuff. Like that. I want us to run at the defence because we're using wing play. We want us wingers to run at the defenders. Uh, in transition, we are looking to counter press, counter. Uh, actually, I'm going to do distribute quickly as well. I'm going to distribute it to the flanks after all. 
we are playing the wing player. Out of possession then, so this is how we're going to look for when we're out of possession. We're going to have a much higher line because I have got um, a pre high press line of engagement. So I want to do much more pressing often. Again, these will be tweaked in course of the season as the season goes on and stuff like that. If it's not working, we'll make a tweak. Might have to drop our defensive line back a bit and our higher press line of engagement back a little bit as well. But for now, we want to be playing that high tempo, that high press game to try and get into Gillingham's faces and not let them settle on the ball at all. So here we go then. Team selection, we're going to leave it as it is. We've just done that. We're going to simulate. Uh, simulate. We're going to sim to the next bit. Uh, we are not interested in any of this. Hopefully, everything is... Hey, up, Joe, how are you doing, mate? Welcome to the chat. I'm just doing a YouTube video, so if I ignore the chat, I do apologise. I'll try and talk to you guys. I just saw you actually come on, FM. Um, right, so dressing room. We're going to go... We're sick and tired of getting bad results got there and, and it's, it changes now. It's a, it is a perfect game to play against Gillingham. This is how they're going to line up. That looks like they're going to three at the back. Well, it's a back seven and then three players up front. Two strikers and two attacks. Here we go. This is our starting lineup. It's got to kick off. Let's get rid of all this bull, bull, bull. <laughs> Don't be swearing on YouTube. But there will be a few swear words in here. The good thing I like about this FM as well is the addition to the EFL graphics as well. Um, so we are away from home, so I just, ee, no, 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 that's the problem with a higher line, that is the problem with a higher line, but we're doing it, we, but we, you know, we, it's, we, it's, it's what it is, isn't it? Corners, man, that, like, if you guys are in my Twitch streams, you will know I hate conceding from corners, I left, we did the set pieces as well, I forgot to mention that, we did set up set pieces, and I pushed two of our defensive players back to our the halfway line, to stop them from adding extra players into the box. So if we push two up, technically they should leave three at the back. So it's less people in the box, easier opportunity for us to easier opportunity for us to clear and not concede. But we have conceded very early on from a corner, and I hate conceding from corners. Like the team has a lot of work to be done on it. It's not bad. It's got a good foundation. Our aim is to avoid relegation, so there there probably will be a lot of losses in here and stuff, but as you can see, we're not having the best time at the minute. Chapman, what are you doing? Why has our goalkeeper come out for that? He's not a sweeper-keeper, but 2-0 down in our first game in charge of Stevenage, and we're only in the 15th, well, the 16th minute. What was our keeper doing? It did, oh, it did take a deflection, but... You've great play by the Gillingham play, but you, you look at that there, and he's rushed all the way out. He's on. He's not on sweeper. He's on just, just, just command your area, pal. Don't need to do anything like that. We have got our works cut out here. Wait, where's my wing back? That's it. One possession. Come on, then. Right, start again. Thank you. Right, get it wide left, wide left, left back, left back. Go on, list. I mean, oh, it's frustrating. List in the centre midfielder. All right, great overlap. The overlap working well there. Them two looking like the linking it well. That's a not a bad ball into the box, to be fair. Gilbert, our lone, he should pick it up. Cross deflected. Where's it going? It's oh, it's gone all the back across face of goal. And we didn't score. That was an important header by a centre back then. Otherwise, the Gillingham man would be in. Campbell, Gilby, why are we shooting from there? We're 2-0 down, we've got a good bit of space, we can work the ball out wide, and we decide to shoot from there. We've only had three shots, which isn't good. But in terms of tactical wise, I think the high line has caught us out early on here. List might win the header, can we pick up the second ball? No, we can't. And that's the high line, it's, oh my god, it's three. Right. Right, right, right. Instructions. Out of possession. In fact, we're just gonna we'll do a standard line. I'm gonna go high press. The problem is, is there's a lot of space there. Oof. Like Stephen his fans are fuming. Stephen his fans will be fuming with this. We've had 10 shots to our four. We are the away team, but look at this guy. He's on an 8.6 rating. I'm throwing water bottle. Right, Jordan Roberts 
appeared to it. Yeah, they all seem to lose confidence. Come on, man. We're making Gillingham look like a flipping prime man city here. That's better. That's what we want to play it. One more. One more. See there. Don't shoot. It's through. A simple. That's what we need to change. Those are the things that we need to change. Right, let's make a sub. Right. Jordan Roberts is coming off for Danny Rose. Gilbert's going to have to... Oh, no. Right, I'm going to have to play him there then because he's got some fitness. Um, I don't really want to bring list off. Excuse me, I don't want to bring list off. We'll play Boswick at the back. Right, we'll leave it like that for now. Let's go to a positive mentality. Maybe it's been on balance that's not helped us. We've got work to be doing here. It's 3-0. The positive is that we've not conceded this second half yet. Keeper, that's when you come out. Obviously, we can't do anything as well in the terms of transfers because we don't have the window open to do transfers. Can we get? We might be able to get freezing. I'm not sure if we will be able to or not. But I think dropping our defensive line has definitely helped. Playing a higher line in League Two has probably caused us a bit of an issue. But yeah, I need to make a secondary tactic as well because I've only just got this one on. I want to play a bit more of a. Is it a Greg? A Greg gun press. That's better. That's what I like. With balling. Oh, what a goal. Well done, boys. Lovely. The consolation. Well, that was great ball. The pass out here from, was it Gilby? Gilby, great ball in. That's the type of balls we want. List to run onto it. The cross is beautiful. The touch from Roberts. There's a glimmer of hope. There's a glimpse of what we can do with this squad. Five minutes left. Off the line. There we go. The two up. Look at this guy down here. See if we could have played it to him. They were left three of their defenders back. I do like that. I don't agree with everybody in the box when they when we're defending for a corner. If you if you push two players out, it means that the attacking team has to push three defenders back. Um. So at three one, it could have been a lot worse. Let's have a look at the stats. We did have thirteen shots. We did improve in the second half. We only had four shots. So. There's a positive as well. We won the second half by one goal to nil. Again, a positive. We didn't concede. Um, so it's just it's a new tactic. Um, what do we say? I'm really not happy we should have won that match according to the numbers. We're training tomorrow. I'm disappointed we should have won that match based on the chances we created. Let's do that one instead. So anyway, boys, over on YouTube, if you have enjoyed this video, then please give the video a like. We are still streaming on Twitch as well. Link for that, as I've said, will be in the description below, as always. We'll come back again in about seven or eight games, maybe less. We'll see how it is. Um, but I'm looking forward to this save with Stevenage. We've got a lot of work to be done in tactical-wise, which I'm going to tweak now before his next game. But thanks for watching. It's not the start we wanted as Stevenage manager, but... We saw a lot of promise in that second half especially. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on another video very soon. Goodbye.